It all began with an idea for a musical piece that was inspired by the writing of Pope Francis, his environmental encyclical Laudato Si, which came out in 2015. And reading that, um, there was this one sentence that we need to recover a serene harmony, how to live in serene harmony with the natural world. When he originally approached me about it, he said, we need to recreate St. Francis's chapel, but out of living plants, and it needs to go together and come apart and move several times. And I said, right, well, that's interesting. This is not traditional architecture. The actual footprint of the chapel is based off of St. Francis's original chapel in Assisi. So the walls are 30 feet by 20 feet, and we basically, in the design, took the original footprint rectangle of the chapel and made it as if it was spiraling outwards. The structure integrates music and architecture, art, nature in the living plants, and that it will actually be a living musical instrument because as part of the structure itself, we're incorporating discarded oil drums that are being specially transformed into musical steel pan drums so that as the solar powered irrigation system um, circulates water continuously through this whole structure that will create this gentle musical sound that that went through a lot of of design discussion in terms of what the nature of the water system how the water is collected how the water is then recirculated the musical instrument part was didn't really sort of we didn't see the magic of it until we got some of the steel drums here and started to play the mig process uses a, you know a, a larger spool of wire than Traditional, say, TIG welding for aluminum would be your, you know, your two main pro ways to weld aluminum. Um, was as many welds as going to be on this project, it was not feasible to TIG weld at all. Um, and the MIG allowed us, you know, faster, more flexibility. This uh, creation is the inspiration and starting point for what we hope will become a global movement to um, invite people everywhere to consider how sacred spaces can engage with the environment. I'm very glad to have had the possibility of hosting the Living Chapel at the Botanical Garden of Rome. I truly believe that the uh, chapel is uh, enriching uh, the beauty of the garden and it will help us uh, to spread the message of the importance of reconnecting ourselves with nature and the importance of the conservation of nature, the conservation of biodiversity and the services it provides to us as a humankind. When the Living Chapel arrived in Rome at the beginning of March 2020, our country was already in lockdown due to the virus spreading. Thus, uh, having assembled the chapel uh, in these uh, challenging circumstances uh, of the beginning of this 2020, uh, the team uh, wishes uh, that the chapel stands uh, as a symbol uh, of uh, ecological awakening for humanity. In particular, I wish to thank uh, the Italian team uh, who allowed us uh, to achieve uh, this amazing goal. The most important part of the whole process, I think, was the coming together of uh, different disciplines, of different uh, people, also from all around the world, from Canada, United States, Italy. And the most important task was to coordinate and get together all of the people who mounted the structure, who assembled the, the metal structure, 
who then uh, put in all the technical plants, the irrigation system, the musical system and the, the actual uh, putting the plants on the walls. I'm very happy to have given my uh, contribution to this project in the design phase and in the construction phase. It's a project, the Living Chapel, really inspired by Enchiquica Laudato Si and a very uh, sustainable project. The Living Chapel has a strong message and the message is to sensitize people around the world to recover degraded lands by establishing gardens the idea is to work together and to involve especially young generations. We have already a number of agreements to establish Laudato Si Gardens in the world that involve all the main continents. So a community that will establish a Laudato Si Garden will receive a gift, a symbol of the Living Chapel. The symbol of the Living Chapel are the four elements of the life, of the nature. These four symbols, these four objects, will be delivered to all the community that have joined the Living Chapel initiative. It is the fruit of the hard work of so many people, beginning with Julian Revy, the chief artist, and along with him, an entire community that toiled day and night to create this chapel. May this be a link between heaven and earth, and may it, create, may it make of us humanity, a common human family, a common biotic community, as Pope Francis invites us in Laudato Si. It's a great blessing that this chapel is being inaugurated on the fifth anniversary of the encyclical Laudato Si. I am extremely grateful. It's really been amazing to see uh, the team get on board and you know, be inspired by the idea to do something a little bit different.